the bones of the skull sort of come in two sets. The first set of bones are what we call the cranial bones. There are eight cranial bones. These are the bones of our brain case. We also have 14 facial bones. These are the bones of our face and of course help, up, help make up our facial features. So the easiest place to start is kind of with the bones of the cranium. These are the bigger ones and they're a little bit easier to identify. So we'll start right here, right in front. Easy one, this is the frontal bone. Okay, when I say front, you know that I mean anterior. So this is our frontal bone. On the side or laterally, we have the parietal bone. And then back here, the posterior side of the skull, we have the occipital bone. So frontal bone, parietal bone, occipital bone. Okay, working our way back to the front again, anterior again, we have something called the temporal bone. I'm going to come back to this one in a moment. This one's a little bit complicated. Temporal bone. Then we have the sphenoid bone. You can see a little bit of it right here. And then inside the eye socket here, we have something called the ethmoid bone. Okay? So let's go back to the temporal bone for a moment. Temporal bone is the one that you feel on the side of your head. In fact, when you palpate the side of your head and you feel the flat side of your head, you're touching the squama of the temporal bone. Squama is like the flattened area. Okay? We call this the temporal bone, interestingly, because it comes from the word tempus. Tempus means time. So with the passage of time, what happens to the hair on most people? It gets gray, okay? And where does people get where do people get gray hair first usually? Right on the temples. So again, with the passage of time, we get gray hair. This is where we get the word tempus, time, or temporal bone. Kind of an easy way to remember it now. But the temporal bone, like I said, it's got a couple different parts to it. We have the squama, that's the flattened area right here. And then we have these processes. Okay, a process is kind of like a projection or an outgrowth. So we have the mastoid process right here, mastoid process. We have the styloid process, that's a sharpened structure right here, like a stylus. If your fingers are too fat to type on your, on your smartphone, you can use a stylus kind of like this, okay, that sharp structure there. And then we have a zygomatic process, which I'll come back to in a moment. And then we also have this right here, your ear canal. We call it the external, because it's from the outside, acoustic, like sound, meatus, the external acoustic meatus, okay? As we move into the anterior side of this, we start to get into some of the facial bones. So I'm going to start right up here, actually, at the bridge of our nose, right where you might rest your glasses. This is your nasal bone. From there, we get to the maxillary bone. Maxillary bone actually comes all the way down here, but it does come right here. Then we have the lacrimal bone from the term lacrum, meaning tears. In fact, you can see where that lacrimal canal would run down. I'm talking tears from your eyes running down into your nasal cavity. And then we have the ethmoid bone. So an easy way that I always remember this one is N-M-L-E. Not my lazy eye, N-M-L-E. And if you look closely, these bones are separated kind of by these squiggly little lines here. Okay, you'll see them here, you'll see them here, you'll see them here, okay? These are called sutures, okay? Sutures, from the term sutura, like sewing together, okay? They're these squiggly little lines, kind of like I'm indicating with my fingers coming back and forth like this, all right? These squiggly little lines here, right? These sutures are where the bones are sewn together, so to speak. I'll go over the sutures in a moment. But continuing on, if we look at the maxillary bone, like I said, you'll notice it here. You'll also notice it all the way along here. We also have the zygomatic bone. Your zygomatic bone is kind of your cheekbone. And that leads into something called the zygomatic arch. So your zygomatic arch is right here. And your zygomatic arch is actually made up of the processes 
of these respective bones. So if you look closely, we have our zygomatic bone, and then we have the temporal process on this side, on the anterior side of the suture right here, the temporal process of the zygomatic bone, and we have the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. So the zygomatic process of the temporal bone and the temporal process of the zygomatic bone that creates this zygomatic arch. Then further down, we've got our jaw, although we don't call it the jaw, we call it our mandible. And a couple of different parts of the mandible. We have the ramus, we have the angle, and we have the body. A little bit more on this one as we continue on. But this is the basics of the lateral view of the skull.